Hey guys, Chain Gear here, bringing another video, and today we are back with some awesome news that I literally just heard about five seconds ago. I was sitting here making my video for hashtag BSMG week, hashtag BSMG underscore week, just for all those interested, if anybody's making videos out there. And I'm sitting here in a party with Elizabeth Kate, awesome clan mate, has an awesome YouTube channel. I'll put that in the link in the description below. But we're sitting here in this party and she's like, hey, look, there's a new patch. I'm like, what? What do you mean there's a new patch? And lo and behold, if you go to heartsuitlabs.com, just go ahead, www.heartsuitlabs.com, we've got a new patch. Oh my God. This was posted, I think today, right? Today's March 3rd. Yeah, it was posted today, March 3rd, the Blacklight March update. Um, Hardsuit Labs, go ahead and go to their website, scroll down a little bit, latest news, Blacklight March update by Liz Starr. Hello fellow agents and welcome to BLR March 2016 update. As always, we continue to work to get all the bugs, blah, 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 blah. We're planning to release the next update March 8th at 5 o'clock PST, Pacific Standard Time. So that's super exciting. That's literally right after this weekend. So if you guys are playing the Uncharted multiplayer beta, which if you don't know about that, you should totally look into it. Just go in the Play Store, or the Play Store, wow, PlayStation Store, um, and look it up. But after this weekend, I'm gonna be doing some clan practices, some trials, blah, 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 blah. I'm hopping right into this patch, and I'm gonna cover this patch with all of my might. And oh my goodness, there are so many good things coming from this patch. First of all, three major bugs that they said they're fixing. Uh, they're fixing the heal injector glitch, which, you know, like when you try and heal yourself and it doesn't work. Um, the private matches are finally gonna be fixed. There's also something about cough um, on convoy crashing. I'm not really sure about that, but that's being fixed as well. Um, a whole bunch of new things, is, uh, other things as well, uh, but I'm actually gonna go to the full patch notes here and just kind of read off of some of these things for you guys. Um, there are new features where there's new weapon skins, new helmets, new holiday playlists with special rewards. Who knows what that is? We haven't seen anything like that yet. Um, I know I've been saving a lot of Z coins for skins and new helmets, that's super exciting. Uh, new death animation system. I'm hoping that means the headshot is coming back or is coming to console at all because that would be really, really cool. You know, and the heads just kind of explode. Um, so we'll see what happens there. New emotes. I don't know if you guys have already seen the new emotes that are out right now, but there are awesome emotes out. Uh, actually, Robin Games or Robin Gomez, he did a new, he did a video of that and it was awesome uh, and it just showed all the emotes basically. So go ahead and check that out. I can link that in the description below as well if I remember. Um, and and added new holiday content so more holiday content and then there's also some game changes customization now sorts objects into categories such as owned featured purchasable and locked that's interesting we'll have to see what that actually looks like within the menu uh, new backgrounds for UI elements that'll be interesting to see the differences uh, party members will always be allowed to join your game if there's a space available interesting I don't know what it was like before I'm guessing that means like if it was closed so like if you had a closed game um, like they couldn't join it but now they can uh, that'll be interesting to see how that works ping calculation has been slightly improved that's good you know just to help with you know overall seeing who has you know good internet and who has bad internet um, improved ping cache generation so I guess that means we'll see even better pings who knows uh, games can be spectated even if full as long as there is a space open for spectators so that's awesome um as long as we have space open for spectators so that's good so that means basically games full you can still jump in and spectate so that's easy uh onslaught games can be rejoined if you leave them you'll respawn next wave i like that that's funny good time to mention we're actually doing a collaboration video here at chain gear gaming we're doing a we as in me um i'm doing a collaboration with elizabeth kate and smoke wild smoke wild 46 i always mix that up 64 or 46 but smoke wild elizabeth kate and i um and maybe another another youtuber which we will see and if so then i will make sure that i, I throw him in there as well but we're all working together to do an onslaught series so get ready for that and now we can you know if we have to leave we can we can jump back in which is nice because i actually just had that problem recently but there's also a new startup sequence flow don't know what that means but it's definitely going to be interesting um weapon weapon pickups no longer disappear randomly 
Weapon pickups no longer disappear randomly. Interesting. Drop weapons will now last a full 30 seconds. Got it. So sometimes I'm guessing when you pick up a weapon and yours drops, it just disappears, which I do definitely remember having that happen, especially when you get something from the depot. But now all dropped weapons will last a full 30 seconds on the map. So you can still go back and get them or do whatever you have to do. There's also a whole bunch of bug fixes. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, they've got a couple things like zoom blur, they've got fix bugs with EMP grenade, fix the you need a password glitch, that's nice, um, and a whole bunch of other level glitches, which is super nice because I can't stand glitches, I am not a glitch fan, so don't ever ask me anything about glitches, um, but it seems like there's a lot in these patch notes, so definitely go ahead and check it out, of course I'll put it in the description below, I'm super excited, um, also they have, if you go just to the normal hard suit labs, there's more information about the like improved item sorting and um, the new death animation so we'll see oh yeah so if you do a lot of damage you will see the effects of your opponents as he goes flying hysterical so there's a lot of things that are going to be added in here i'm really excited event playlist that's sh they show it here as well and there's a saint patrick's day event and a spring event so starting march 8th lasting to march 22nd there will be a saint patrick's day event and apparently I can click here for more information. I'm literally doing this live with you guys right now, so this video might be really long, I have no idea. And then from March 22nd, so the end of that event, till March, or to April 5th, there will be a spring event. This is awesome. There's gonna be so much content, like, uh, oh my god, did they show, oh my god, they show the new weapon skins, Tiger Stripe Blue and Tiger Stripe Orange. And ti uh, what is that, Tiger Stripe Green? I don't know. No, it just shows a green camo on there as well. Clovers, Clovers. This is sick. I'm super, super pumped. This looks awesome. This tiger skin, you guys have to go on the website and check this out. It's awesome. I'm totally getting the blue tiger skin. I'm probably gonna buy both. There are 500 Z coins. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna spend 10 bucks on skins. I'm gonna do it. There's, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Unfortunately, the um, it looks like the St. Patrick's Day event and the spring event, it just says check back soon. So this, the second I get wind of there being information here. I will let you guys know. And in the comment section below, if you guys hear about it, let me know or hit me up. Actually, Mexican or Assassin, a good subscriber of mine, a really good friend of mine, actually, in terms of subscription. He's super, super great. He's helped me out a lot in terms of letting me know when things happen. He let me know about the new emotes. Um, and it would be really cool if you guys, every, anytime you hear about something, let me know because I can always report on it. And of course, I'll give you guys a shout out. So uh, that's basically it. I'm super pumped. I don't know if you guys are pumped. I am. So that's it for me, guys. Like this video if you like it, but dislike it if you dislike it. And let me know why in the comment section below. As always, I'm trying to make content for you guys. Share and subscribe. That way you guys can get more awesome Chain Gear Gaming content. And of course, everybody else I'm going to collaborate with in the future, which I'm really, really, really excited about. Um, but that's basically it. So of course, I will see you guys online. And I hope to see you in the next one. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for all your support.
But today, it is all about the six-time zoom scope on a BSMG.